Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look how array list works internally in Java. As most of us would already be knowing that array list is a resizable array implementation of the list interface. Array list grows dynamically as the elements are added to it. So let's see how array list is internally implemented what is the backing data structure for an array list how it grows dynamically and ensures that there is a always room to add elements uh, in this video tutorial i'm going to take help of the java source code to explain how array list works internally and uh, here i'm gonna use uh, java 8 uh, to explain you how array list works internally internally so here you can see jre system library uh, that is 1.8 so uh, so uh, I have a one question uh, where does array list store elements first of all so if you go to the uh, array list source code then here on the top of the class you can see uh, you can see uh, this array list class has declared a uh, object of array is called element data which is kind of transient right so basic, basically basic data st uh, structure used by array list uh, to store objects is an array of object class which is defined as follows you can see over here right so i'm sure many of you would be thinking why transient and uh, how about what about serializing an array list then array list provides its own version of read object and write object methods so no problem in serializing an array list and and uh, that is the reason i think uh, of making this uh, object array as transient so here you can see uh, you will get the read object and write object and th these are the two method basically here you can see uh, written and that helps us to uh, array list to deserialize and serialize so there is a one right of ob right object which helps us to uh, serialize array list and uh, there is a one more method is called read objects and that helps uh, array list to uh, deserialize so here if you look into the array list class this array list class implement extends abstract list class and implements list interface random access clonable and serializable right so by default uh, 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 array list is serializable clonable means this by default array list is clonable as well right so uh, and random access means array list element you can directly uh, access randomly means you can access by the index and uh, this also implements a uh, list interface so all these all three methods are basically marker interface there is no method in these three interfaces but there are a lot of methods in this list interface so array list overrides all the method which is available in the list in this class right so already we have talked about this uh, declaration right object array declaration uh, so uh, if you look into the uh, this declaration basically uh, which basically declares uh, uh, object of array so that means backing data structure of array list is the array itself right now what happens when array list is created so array list class provides three constructors to create an array list so if i press ctrl o then you can see there is three constructor right one is the default constructor doesn't take any parameter second is the uh, i mean array list constructor whose takes a single parameter that is nothing but the in initial capacity uh, another uh, array list uh, constructor which doesn't take any parameter that basically takes the default uh, capacity uh, default size of the array and uh, there is one more constructor which takes a collection of uh, elements right so here if you look into the this uh, program i have created a three uh, array list object by using all these three constructor so here you can see first constructor we have a basically uh, default constructor in case of default constructor is used array list is created uh, if you go to the source code then array list is created something like this right 
so here uh, you can see uh, where default capacity empty element data is defined as you can see as a empty array so if you uh, call uh, a default constructor to create an uh, array list then uh, 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 this element data object that is the object of array is going to initialize with the uh, empty uh, array right now now so you can see uh, initially basically uh, if you look into the explanation about this uh, constant saying that shared empty array instance used for the default sized empty instances we distinguish this from the uh, empty element data to know how much to inflate when first element is added this is saying that uh, so you can see initially it will be initialized with an empty array it will grow only when first element is added to the list and that's what this is trying to say over here right this is all about the uh, default constructor now we have another constructor which takes the uh, initial capacity right so uh, when uh, this constructor is used we can provide some initial capacity rather than depending on the default capacity right so uh, as defined in the array list you can see you can how it is defined in the array list if you specify the initial capacity then that uh, uh, object of array is getting created with uh, this provided initial capacity if you specify capacity is zero then this is going to initialize with the empty uh, object array and if you specify uh, some kind of negative value then this is going to throw any illegal uh, capacity uh, illegal uh, capacity uh, that is initial capacity what you are providing so this uh, exception will be thrown at runtime right so now basically uh, here basically it is easy to see here what if uh, provided capacity is greater than zero then the element data array will be created with the capacity in case provided capacity is zero then element data array is initialized with an empty object array uh, in that case array list will grow when first element is added and that's what this constructor is saying now if i come to the client program i have another third constructor right which takes something like this so here if you look into the constructor this constructor accepts uh, basically uh, a, a collection as an argument right so if we want to construct a list containing the elements of a specified collection we can use this constructor in this constructor implementation checks for the length of the collection passed as the parameter if length is greater than zero then arrays dot copy of here you can see arrays dot copy of method is used to copy the collection to the element data array and that's what this is happening right if you look into the collection uh, arrays dot copy then he uh, copy of then first argument is the original array and second is uh, argument is the new length and uh, finally is the object array dot class right so here this is pretty straightforward right uh, now uh, next thing we would like to dis discuss how array list grows dynamically right so when we add an element to an array list uh, it first verifies whether it has the much capacity in the array to store new elements or not in case there is uh, not then new capacity is calculated which is 50 percent more than the old capacity and the array is increased by that much capacity right so now we can see the add method of array list so let's go to the add method which so here you can pass the element to add right so here uh, first of all uh, ensure capacity internal is getting called so size is gonna increment by one when you try to one add more elements and if you go to here then ensure capacity internal there we are passing the minimum capacity and here you can see here check is applied if element data equal to default uh, capacity empty data right and that is nothing but the empty array then uh, control will go to the inside and minimum capacity is going to calculate by the max method of math so 
so either whichever is the minimum will be taken as the mean capacity so default capacity would be the 10 in the in case of array list and if you uh, if whichever is the minimum of these two that will be, will be assigned to the minimum capacity and after that ensure explicit capacity method is gonna, gonna call that is basically incrementing the mode count because uh, one element you are going to add and finally uh, one check is applied saying that if minimum capacity is greater than uh, element data array length then grow method is getting called so here basically when array is realizing there is needs to grow the size of array or not if you go to the grow method then here all logic you can see how uh, i mean new capacity is gonna assign so new capacity equal to old capacity plus uh, old capacity of right shift operator is getting uh, uh, applied so this will basically uh, increase the old capacity by the 50 percent right if your old capacity is 10 then new capacity would be the uh, 15 something like if your old capacity is 20 then new capacity would be the 50 percent of old capacity that means 30 so that's where uh, uh, that uh, uh, array list capacity is gonna increase and all those stuff you can see the rest of the course are how they have written so basically grow method decides whether uh, whether uh, uh, i mean size of uh, array is gonna grow or not right now next thing what happens when element is removed now if you, i go to the here and if you look into the remove method right so here is the remove method which basically takes the index as an argument right so when elements are removed from an array list using either remove uh, index or remove uh, there is one more method which accepts the object as well which, whichever object you want to remove that you can pass it over here right so any of the method if you call then gap created by the removal of an element has to be filled in the underlying array and that is done by the shifting any subsequent element to the left right and uh, that is basically uh, done by the uh, one of the method is called uh, so if you, i go to the here in remove method sorry remove method then here you can see uh, here you can see the uh, system dot array copy method is getting called and this basically takes uh, three para uh, four parameter right uh, this takes the basically uh, five parameters right so here uh, index plus one is the source position index is the destination position since element at the position index is removed right so elements starting from the index plus one are copied to the destination starting from the index so that's what source code says now there are the some of the key points which you will have to keep in mind when we talk about the internal implementation of array list uh, this is the one of the changes so till java 6 the new capacity calculation used like this so old capacity into 3 whole divided by 3 plus 1 this was the scenario till java 6 but uh, that was changed in the java 7 so now java 7 onwards as i have shown you uh, now new capacity will be calculated something like this old capacity plus old capacity right uh, shift operator right so this this will also increase size by the 50 percent right now here there are some of the key points we will have to keep in mind when we talk about the internal working of the array list first of all array list is a resizable array implementation of list interface second internal internally array list class uses array of object class to store its element now when initializing an array list you can provide initial capacity then the array would be of the size provided by as initial capacity now next point if initial capacity is not a specified then default capacity used to create an array which uh, which is the default capacity is 10 when elements is added to the array list it first verifies whether it can accommodate the new elements it needs or it needs to grow in in case uh, capacity has to be increased than the new capacity is calculated which is 50 percent more than the old capacity and and array is increased by that much capacity and final point when elements are removed from the array list a space created by the removal of an element has to be filled in the underlying array that is done by the shifting any subsequent elements to the left 
so that's all point i have